and what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B. And this is Tech Guy from The Hive. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Floss Tube. Tube. We're so excited to be in our first week of Mania and to be back with you all and just kind of share our progress, share some haul and some different things that we have going on and um, just kind of talk cross stitch for a little bit. First five days. First five days, yeah. So um, I have yet to start my Mania for the fifth. Have you? I mean, I'm always starting that. Well, I mean, have you, but have you stitched today? No, because you worked today. Okay. Um, so I haven't started fifth, but I've done four of my days. Yeah, I've we'll stitched every day. Later. Well, I've stitched every day if you count, like, going past midnight and going to the next day. <laughs> I've stitched every day. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking at the clock. It's like 10, 20 here. So uh, I got to put my, my minutes in. Yeah. I've probably vlogged at least six hours and that's on the very conservative side yeah probably very conservative side um since you said that i heard kimberly say that she has an app kimberly from fat quarter shop said that she has an app on her phone that she's using to log her time do you all have something like that i would be very interested to see if there's an app on your phone that logs either your stitches or your time for stitching or is it literally just the timer a stopwatch? <laughs> I was going to say the stopwatch. <laughs> like is it literally just are Most, we Most it comes on your phone for free. Well I know but like I didn't know if she was like logging like if there she was is, like a journal as far as an app. I don't know. And then I want to know your charting apps. Like what do you use to chart? I have some quilting apps. Um, not apps. Design software. I have um, a quilting design software called EQ8, and then I have an actual app on my iPad that I purchased that helps me create and log fabric that I have. Oh, but that's super cool. I'm charting right now with just pencil and paper. I told you all I'm doing the barn blocks from the sew sampler boxes last year, and they're just for my personal use. Like, I won't be sharing them with anyone or anything. Right. Um, but I'm just logging, or um, I'm just. Uh, Yes. Log I'm, it. No, I'm, um... Storing? No, I'm... Anyway, I'm just char charting. I'm charting them on just grid paper with pencil. And I thought, well, if my iPad, look if I had something easier. So let us know down below what you guys use. Or if you don't use anything like I do. Yeah. <clears throat> I just go by the pattern. Yeah. Um, have you heard of this thing called 24-hour cross-stitch? No, but I feel like it's one of those things that... You know when you go and like look at reality TV and they're yeah. like dropped off in the middle of nowhere and like the first night they're all happy <laughs> and then like three days later they're like all exhausted and like they're sweating and things like that. I feel like that's what that is and if it's not that one like that way it should be. Yeah. Um, because that's well, exactly okay. how I feel. About you this heard? Journey. Did you hear Pam and Steph talking about it a little yeah, bit? I heard it uh, in and out when we were kind of yeah. <laughs> swapping parent. Uh, parent duty <laughs> the other the other day like if one of us can like stitch and the other one like takes yeah. care of the, the kids which they don't need to be taken care of they're pretty mild-mannered and self-sufficient yeah um but yeah i heard uh that going on when you were watching yeah. our video so somebody commented on our floss tube last month and um when tech guy had announced that he was going to do a project or two for mania yeah. And somebody commented that we needed to watch Jen Lee and that her husband Brandon come like has these eight bit cross stitching patterns. And so we watched it and I immediately text tech guy at work and I was like, dude, you are going to love everything this guy stitches. Zelda, like, I mean, so many things that this guy stitches and like he and Nathan are, their interests are identical. Yes. When he and said eight bit. He got me like he was yeah he was good and so um so anyway so her and her mother jen and her mom do this thing they created this thing called 24 hours of cross stitch starts at 4 p.m on one night and goes till 4 p.m the next day obviously so like a hours. sleepover well yeah that's basically like, like a slumber what party you do. for stitching yes and you just kind of power nap through it or if you have to go to sleep whatever so that was kind of their feedback was they loved the idea like a lot she says in her video they just came out with a video today talking about future plans for 24 hours of cross stitch when they're going to do it again and a lot of her feedback that she got from people joining in the last time 
was that everybody loved the idea that like I'm stitching from 4 p.m. on Friday to 4 p.m. on Saturday. Pam and Steph are stitching from 4 p.m. on Friday till 4 p.m. on How Saturday. Does that work? Like just ever just the idea that everybody is stitching all all at the same time is really fun. And so they decided to like host these like virtual 24 hours of stitch. So um, I think she might even upload on her Instagram or something like little stories and stuff of her stitching. And so she got more feedback and one of the things somebody said or lots of people said was like, I just need sleep. And so they've, yeah. kind, ha they've kind of <laughs> like tailored it. So they released two dates for the next two 24 hours of cross stitch. And what they're doing, 24 hours of cross stitch in 48 hours. So it leaves you time for stitching, it leaves you time for parenting, it leaves you time for all of these Does it though? Comment kind of below, how are you guys thinking about this? Because I, I mean, yeah. it's a great idea, I think it's phenomenal. Um, but what do you live on, right? Coffee? Like, well no, I don't think she's intending it to be like 24 straight hours. I feel hours like it's a lock-in from high school, like you're just- I think <laughs> that's what it is. I think it's like this idea of you have 24 hours and you get as much stitching as you can possibly get done. And you set aside those 24 hours for stitching. And so I think it's like, it's that kind of like youth group lock-in kind of feel. And I think it's so fun, I want to do it. The first one, or the next one, is June 7th. Which is about a month and two days away. Yeah, so we're just a little over a month. I'm gonna have so many projects or mania that I can work on. And like, I wanna go somewhere and do 24 hours of cross stitch with other stitchers. Or even just you and stitching. Well, we do that here. I know, but like, to be out of the distraction of our home and daily life, even if it's with the kids, like, like to be removed from the distractions, I think it would be so interesting. So, Comment down below if you think it's absolutely crazy, or let us know if you're going to do it. Or you've been a part it. of it. Yeah, Have or you if you've done it in the yeah. past. Like, I know Pam and Steph did it last time. I, like, I want to know what your plans are what if your you survival kit it. looks like. Like, what's in your, like, grab bag. Protein, 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 water, Coffee. and a catheter. <laughs> Gross. Uh, caffeine. Caffeine, yeah, probably. But we don't do energy drinks, so. No, mm. we don't. No. Um, so it, I don't know. It just seems like a really interesting concept. We'll link her channel down below yep. because she explains it so much better it's a than fun my channel. hack job. But yeah, she it's has a fun a, channel. Yes. She does. I think like maybe once a month floss tubes or twice a month floss tubes. And it's just so it's a neat concept and I'm really kind of excited about it. So my plan 100% is to do 24 hours of cross stitch in 48 hours, June 7th. I kind of virtual wanna, or in person. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you have a group of fun stitchers that you want to get yeah. together with, invite us. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, if you I have can a bake, I can I can smoke meat, I can yes. grill, I can. We could just go crash somebody's crock pot Fridays. I know Pam and Steph do that, and I think that's really fun. That's awesome. Um. So anyway, June seventh, it's gonna be for forty eight hours. So June seventh, eighth, and ninth. Yeah. And you just do twenty four hours and forty eight, or do however many hours you think you can do in that 48 hour period. I'm getting old. I don't think I can stay up that late. Like I am getting <laughs> If old. I can move around a little bit, I could. So. Yeah. Like such a neat concept. I really think that's cool. So mania. We've lived through the first five, five days. days. Not even a week Really yet. four days because today I haven't started yet. I haven't either. Um, we have learned some hard lessons. And not to do shortcuts. And not to take shortcuts. And um, we kind of, I mean, we were throwing some curveballs this week a little bit. In prep for Mania, we thought we'd really thought of everything. Like, I kit up everything. I kit up everything for Hit. Kit, is it Kit or Kitted? Anyway, I got everything all together, put it in our um, our awesome project bags, which I showed y'all last time yep. that we made. Um, Mine's getting a lot of use. And, like, I mean, I have organized Stitch Mania to death. I've organized it to death. I think we've memor I can remember, like, remember, like, her order one through yeah. thirty one like it's the day before yesterday uh. I said I'm not really sure what um, project I'm working on today he goes oh it's da 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 and I was like really he's like yes I looked at it like ten times I've touched it a lot yes so, so. I've over organized the actual mania itself I don't think you know over organized, over -organized it I don't think you do that well I feel like I have mm -hmm. okay my first quilting day my 
ironing pressing board that I made out of an Ikea cabinet door, which I, we have a tutorial for, yep. um, it almost caught fire. And my iron decided it was not going to retain water anymore. So that was like my first quilting day where it was like I needed to starch all my fabric, cut it all, blah, 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 which we'll talk about here in a little bit. Um, so that broke. And I was like, what am I going to do? Like I have 15 days of cro or of uh, quilting that yeah. I have to get done. What am I going to do? And those things are not cheap. No. They're, no. No, a good quilting iron is not cheap. It's and not so cheap. I kind of had a panic moment. And I didn't know what to do about an ironing board. Like, I can still use my iron, but I have no steam. And that's kind of essential. But what would it be called? And some of it, yeah. Wait, what is that called? If it doesn't so, it, we had to kind of finagle that. Um, our four-year-old has had a migraine since Sunday. Mm -hmm. And so we've had lots of extra snuggling time. And uh, lots of phone calls and things like that to yep. try and get him, you know, the best care that we can give him Back right to now. his normal. Yes, back to his normal. Um, for, if you're new here, joining our channel, um, our, hi, <laughs> our son, um, has hydrocephalus. He's four years old. He has had 10 brain surgeries mm -hmm. and he also has separately a migraine condition. And we're not quite sure if it's linked to all the brain surgeries, like the fact that he's we been open so many times, or if aside from that, if he didn't have hydrocephalus, would he still have this, these migraines? It makes a second think about migraines and how yeah. much our headaches are and this kid yeah. uh, seeks darkness when he doesn't feel good. So yeah. we stop what we're doing and uh, kind of tend to him, make sure that he's good. And then uh, his two older brothers are super um, yeah. uh, loving uh, on him. And uh, yeah, we just kind of, kind of support our kids whenever they need so if oh, it's wow. not one it's the other one and if you're a parent watching this you absolutely know exactly what I'm talking about yeah so yeah so he um, we've just kind of been like all hands on deck trying to help him this week um, and we're also wrapping up our homeschool year yes. and so my, my older two are very excited very to almost excited. be done um, they do know that we're going to do two curriculum throughout the whole summer. So and they're okay with that. Yeah, and they're totally fine because it's not a full day of school. We, you know, whatever. And they understand for being like small yeah. kids, like they uh, they understand why we do certain things, and, and uh, it's very encouraging that they understand that. Yeah. So in my head, I was like, but I've written everything down. I know every Stitch Mania project I have. I know everything I need to do. It's all on a piece of paper written down. So like, that's what needs to be done throughout my day. So it shouldn't be that bad. And then like life happens and you're like, wait, it, just cause I wrote it down doesn't mean it happens. So we're going to talk about that a little bit later when yeah. I've, with the lesson I've learned this week and, um, kind of things like that. So, but it's been super fun. Like I've really, really enjoyed mania so far. And, um, I don't know. I've learned to unplug. Unplug. Yes. Yeah. Which is a complete yeah different uh it's a, a 180 turn of what i usually do so i i'm in i'm in technology like i'm yeah. i'm always doing something with that and uh the uh, people that i work with will look at me like yeah he doesn't do this type of this type yeah. of stuff so uh thank you for the comments what about the one employee oh thank you, you for the comments in person <laughs> yes. and on uh youtube his uh, employees watch this so they'll think this yeah is yeah i had an employee named jessica and she's like you didn't do much on frosty forest i'm like thanks jessica <laughs> what about the one guy that the one employee that was telling oh you yeah like give me critiques about like how i'm <laughs> awkwardly smiling like thanks jeff i appreciate when that when i talk apparently he has a like a staring like i'm thinking about what i'm saying next and i'm actively listening it's just yes. i look like i've got nothing going on upstairs so. i think that is hilarious so thanks for the comp the, the comments in person yes. and on youtube yeah so we just i i love comments i love to read y'all's comments yep. i don't always get to answer them or get to respond in the way that i want to but if you if you have a heart on your comment i have seen it i have loved it i appreciate it so much and i try to really circle back and um answer questions or give feedback on anything and if i just love the comment i love the conversation that happens in the comment section yeah and I, even with the constructive like constructive uh feedback Mm -hmm. We appreciate that too. Sometimes it can come off a little harsh, but uh, we got to put ourselves in your guys' shoes. Like you're really trying to help mm -hmm. us out. Yeah. Uh, so we like that. Yeah. Uh, like in this video, we did not do any auto focusing. Yeah. We heard you yes. loud and clear. A lot we're, of people were saying that was like making emotion sick. Yeah, that, so we don't want to do that. that. Off. So yeah. we're gonna try to figure out how to um, get more of an up close. Uh, 
picture. I don't know what that looks like. I'm kind of thinking that in my head. Mm -hmm. um, and trying to figure out how you guys can get an up close picture with what yeah. we're talking about uh, without having kind of like the, the, the zoom, in. zoom in and out. Yeah. And uh, I can see how that would make somebody sick. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So thank you for the, the comments, the compliments, the uh, feedback. Uh, we do enjoy it. If we don't have a heart on it, uh, if we don't have a comment on there, we're working on it, I promise. Just yeah. uh, It's an overwhelming feeling when we get comments, but it's a great overwhelming feeling. Oh, it's like, so it's fun. fabulous. So yeah. um, we're trying to decide it. who takes what. Like We call it dibs on the next comment. Um, and I'm going to make it very clear when I'm commenting on the uh, your comments that it's actually from me. So it's not you're thinking that it's from Kia B, it's from me. Yeah. So... Yeah, I I yeah. I love comments. I love this community. Um, if you are new to our channel, like I said, welcome. Hello. We are very excited to have you. I we are a quilting channel. That's what our channel has been. We just celebrated our third business birthday, um, just yeah. a month ago, and um, eighty something videos strong. Yes, and so we actually do quilting tutorials, yep. and we started doing this floss tube thing. And our love, like I love cross stitch. And I have arthritis in my hands really bad. And so I, I had to put it away for a while until I saw Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop using a Q-snap. And I was like, you know, I wonder how that would work. So I ordered one just to see how that would work. <laughs> and um, I took it's it. awesome. Yeah, he's taken all of them. Yep. Um, and it's awesome. And because it's not such a tiny thing, I can grip it a lot because my arthritis is really bad in the, the hand that I grip with. And so, um, look that I gripped the fabric with, and so I'm able to do that a lot better. So, um, I, we love making videos for you guys. We love doing tutorials on quilting and things like that. Um, yeah, so it's just been really... Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Like, thanks for... Yeah, we know your time is valuable, and the fact that you spend it with us is... Even if we have it on, if we're background noise, it's awesome. Thank yeah. you. Like, uh, loading... A 45 minute video last time was stressing me out. Uh, it was the longest video we've ever posted um, and not a lot of editing at all. Yeah. Um, so. I mean, the, you just kind of get us raw during the too. Yeah, you really get us at a, at a raw point that we're not scripted. Uh, we've got notes and th stuff like that in front of us, but. Just to make sure I cover all the bases. Absolutely, so we don't forget anybody or anything. Yeah. So. Yeah, I love the comment last time that was like, oh, she, the lady said, I love long floss tubes because I can put them on and I can stitch and I don't have to change the video every 15 minutes. So I appreciated that. That was really cool. Yeah. So. Are we going to um, dive right in? Yeah, let's dive right in. So May 1st, so we've done four days of Mania. Why yep. don't you talk about what your choices for Mania were and then you can show your So rips. I had a project going into Mania and then I picked out a project for Mania yeah. and I've uh, said that I was going to split the time evenly. That hasn't been true. Um, not saying one was my favorite, is my favorite. I was just working on Frosty Forest for a little bit, uh, and I just needed to take a break and do something different. And I say something different, it's another winter scene, so it's not too much different. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yawning over there? Am I boring you? I'm ya? already yawning. I'm boring. Um, <laughs> so, Frosty Forest, uh, I added the tree, I added stuff to my cross stitch pattern. Thank you. And then I'm doing uh, a half a tree here. There is a couple different trees I have to do, and then I think that is it for that. But I've spent probably about two hours working on this. Where's uh, the picture for the this? The picture of this is right here. So it's four trees and a snowman. I've, I haven't gotten to the other three yeah. trees. And I will put the link uh, below so you guys can take a closer look on the website. Yeah. Uh, but it's small, it's compact, it's fun. Uh, the it looks only so good. the only frustration I've gotten is if you're looking at a pattern for a very long time, your lines are blurring. It's like a white line fever when you're driving for a long period of time at night. Uh, I had to stop last night and had Kia check my stitches because I could not follow it at all. Like I couldn't follow it at all. Yeah. Um, I was telling him like the magnetic boards and stuff. You can get like magnets that are just one line, so it keeps you. But I understand what you're saying because that happened to me the night before yeah. when I needed to count 53 stitches across, and I was like, can't see 53 yeah, and stitches. Yeah, I'm trying to count like by the corners. Like one block is two. Yeah. So if I do four, I know there's two blocks. Yeah. So it 
comment below if you have an easier way of counting blocks because that would yeah. be fantastic to know. Uh, and yeah, that's where I'm at. So I'm gonna get another chunk of this done. The goal is to get this one done and uh, Merry Christmas, my dear, done so I can start on new projects. Um, again, I'm a big nerd. I love Marvel Comics. Uh, kind of grew up around it. So Zelda, video games, things like that, like old school video games. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I love it. So, um, and then the second project, this is for me. We're going to try and put this picture frame behind it and see if you see can if it see works. it better. When you look at this one up close, it is so, look how much progress he has, guys. Like in four days, he's put in six hours or more. That's conservative. Like that's. On both projects. Yeah. And so. like, look at this. And I think, I was saying this, I think it's amazing to see the progression of tension, like his I'm not tension angry at it. is getting so yeah. much better and it's looking so great. Because on Frosty Forest, you can definitely see that I'm pulling and pulling and pulling, look like I'm angry at the pattern. I'm not. This, I've kind of like, it's, it's taut. You've like found your I found roof. roof. Yeah. So he has done so much work on this one. Thank you. So um, show the picture of this guy. Uh, the picture of this guy, I don't think I have it with me. Oh, it's right here. Give me one moment. So uh, Merry Christmas, My Dear is this one. It's a Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, yeah, it's this guy. And it's, this one's showing like on a lighter Ada, but I thought it would be really, really cool and really neat on chalkboard. Mm -hmm. um, and Kia tried to convince me otherwise to go on a lighter okay. Ada. It wasn't going to happen, sister. Like I wanted to have a like a dark night setting in this like uh, forest, in this winter forest, uh, and I love it so far. So uh, with the right lighting, I can actually see. So your comments yeah. below about natural light absolutely i think that's like the best light you can have yeah uh, other than that i've been sitting like right here uh, underneath the shop lights yes uh and getting taken care of here i so. went to breakfast with my dad yesterday morning and we came home and um he was dropping me off and it came in and he's just we've we've got a new um couch well Set it's up. not new well no. um if you've noticed for the last probably two or months. two and a half months we have like been in this setup of filming and it's because we got a sofa for the studio and we just kind of like the laid back filming aspect of that. And so um, he, we came home yesterday morning, he has all of our filming lights on and he's just sitting on the studio couch, just stitching away. I'm getting it done. Yeah, so my dad thought that was hilarious. He asked me several times if this is what I like to do and yes, I actually like doing yeah. it, so. Yeah, you, I think you started Mania for me, like just as because I asked you to. I yeah, didn't ask you to, but because I actually didn't ask at all. Like I just that. asked what I was doing. Yeah. And then I know we kind of like working with each other in the same room, in the same atmosphere, not even necessarily like talking to each other. Yeah. Uh, but just knowing that we're here for each other, or just kind of mm -hmm. a soundboard. And uh, yeah, we just kind of turn on like Live PD or Mad Men and. Or The Office. Or The Office. <laughs> Out of and those three, kind of if you stitch. like one of those, let us know because yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, and we, you know, we kind of not necessarily pay attention to it, just background, um, just background noise. Yeah. So. That's, so, what's your plan for the next week? What do you? Uh, my goal is is to get the Merry Christmas, my dear trees done. At least half of them done because I'm looking at the pattern while I'm saying that. I need to get like a deer. If I can get two trees and a deer done, we're good on there. If I can get Frosty Forest, uh, let's see what I have here. If I can get two trees and a half of a snowman, I'll be golden. Yeah. Um, but I think, I don't want to rush through it to say that I got it done. I want to actually get it done right the first time because I've pulled so many stitches out. Yeah. That sometimes you just got to walk away and be like, I can't do this anymore. Uh, in our living room, our couch is actually huge. Like, <laughs> soup, it, it goes from wall to wall. wall. Funny story, we bought that couch about three months ago, right before we bought this one. Like, yeah. two weeks before. And we bought the couch because we all went to the furniture store. The kids loved it. We loved it. It's huge. It's nice. We um, It's that way when my parents, my sister, and her new husband come over. Everybody has a place to sit. Right. And we bought it. And we had our friend come and help uh, Tech yes. Guide move it. 
and he when they were unpackaging it he was like this isn't gonna fit and it's a sectional it, so it comes in three pieces it's like two chaise lounge and then a couch in the center and he was like uh this isn't gonna fit and I told our friend I was like bite your tongue it's going to fit and he was like this is not going to fit and I was like no really it'll fit and he was like I don't think so and the more they unpackaged it the more I was like he's right this is not gonna fit Y'all, it is less than five inches on each side. On each side. Like, yeah. It's, yeah. It, so it fills that room. So we sit at night when we're stitching, we sit on opposite ends of the couch. <laughs> we're not mad at each other. No, no, but like no. lamp situation and everything, we just sit on oppo opposite ends of the couch. And I'll be stitching and I hear, ugh. I'm like, oh, you gotta rip out stitches again. <laughs> yeah, I. Yeah. But you're learning. I am learning. So, so. I'm. I'm, uh, I'm learning a lot, so uh, I also learned that when you pull for a strand, the longest strand doesn't always give you the best, uh, I don't know, the best... It gets tangled It gets really tangled easily. a lot. Like, I did not realize he how much... He was so proud of himself yesterday. He's stitching and he's like pulling the strand. He's like, yeah, you like how long the strand is? Like, I'm so smart. This is so efficient. And I was like... Not even two minutes later... I'm Not flipping. I'm flipping the Q snap, trying to like put my teeth in it, trying to like grab it around and. No, oh, and I have to angle the, oh, mess. it was bad. I, I just did not realize how string can just get knotted for just laying there. Yep. I did not know that. Yep. So I learned a lot. Um, I've enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it's been frustrating. It's not. Um, I'm not angry at it. It's just I'm learning. There's a learning curve. Yeah. So. For uh, sure. So I'm I'm pretty proud of what my progress is, and I'm, it sounds like you are too. So yeah, surprising you. Yeah. Am I impressing you? Yes. Awesome. Always. Awesome. Okay, so I started. Um, like I said, I have 16 days of cross stitch and 15 days of quilting. So May 1st was a cross stitch day, mm -hmm. and I started with Country Cottage Needleworks uh, stitching time. I am using all of the called for colors of DMC. Uh, which is 318, 352, 744, 754, 869, 957, 993, 3031, 3347, and white. That's 10. And um, so I love this. I posted my progress on Instagram. If you don't follow us over there, we do. I do try to post every day what the progress is. Yep. And uh, the lady, uh, the owner of Country Cottage Needleworks, the pattern designer, she commented, because I'm doing mine on chalkboard Ada, and she was like, oh, that's going to be so pretty. Thank you. So I didn't make a ton of progress in my time stitching, but I got about half the border done. I think your your goal is not necessarily get them done, but to get them started and actually oh, get no. a good chunk. Oh, yeah. so no. Just, I just wish I had a bigger chunk done, but that's okay. I mean, I see a bunch of squares that you had to count. That's true. Like, I, I see a yeah. lot of squares you yeah. actually had so to make So I've got half for. of the border done on uh -huh. that. So I took a page from maybe Priscilla and Chelsea's book or something where they talked about how they start in the upper left-hand corner that's, instead yeah, of the middle. Yep. When we did Quilter's Cottage last month, um, I started in the middle and I actually had gotten um, almost half the letters done when I realized I didn't have enough room for the house at the top. So I had to restart Oops. on it. Yeah, it was awful. Bad day. It was awful. So I worked on that on May 1st. So day two, uh, May 2nd, is when I learned a very big and valuable lesson. Just because, and this is what I was saying earlier, just because I wrote it down when I organized all the Mania projects doesn't mean, one, I allowed enough time for myself to get said project accomplished or started. Um, and with the quilt kits, what I'm doing, or with the quilt, I'm doing kits. So I've taken several quilt kits. And I've split them up into, I think I've got four quilt kits, and I've split them all up into 15 days, and that way I have four quilt tops completely done right. by the end of Mania, which is crazy. It's a lot. It is a lot. Um, and so when I was writing it down, I was like, oh yeah, I can just accomplish this in a day. Not really realizing, like, I may not actually be able to accomplish what I set out to do. So May 2nd was a really hard realization. Um, it was kind of a rough day. It rained all week here, which we know is a lot of his migraine issue, but it just needed to be a snuggle day. And so... Um, days, snuggle days. Days, but that yes, one particular, but this particular day, like, yeah. 
a quilt or my first quilting day. So um, my first kit that I'm working on is Norm and Nanette. And I had planned for my day, my day one of quilting to be cutting all of the Norman Nanette fabric. And when I opened the kit, which I had not done before this day, which was my first mistake, um, it actually is an entire book of a pattern and not just like a normal quilting pattern. And so um, I quickly realized, wow, this is going to take hours and hours of cutting, which I was totally fine with. Like, that's totally fine. Um, but getting called away and, you know, like, what I'm happens? a mom first. And so really my focus was on him and, and snuggling him when he needed it. And so I realized, like, by the end of the second day, I was like, I'm not going to have all this fabric cut. I need it organized the way I need it because I have set out to do certain things. So on the first day is cutting. On my second day of quilting, it's putting together three Norm and three Nanette blocks. You know, and so I have like this schedule that I'm going to have this quilt top done in a matter of days. And when I didn't get all my fabric cut that first day, I was like feeling so defeated. And he just had to remind me like, this is a suggestion. Like this is, you are going to catch up or you're not going to catch up. But you again are a mom first and that's what was most important. And so I just really put in some extra time at night and in the mornings and I knocked it out. And as of today, I'm totally caught up. I have all it's of exciting. the pieces cut. Um, so it goes, there are pieces, it goes through the alphabet twice and has seven double letters. Wow. Yes. And so it's a lot of cutting, a lot of cutting. Um, and so my May 2nd was just cutting all of that fabric. I put in some extra hours on cross stitch days and I just got it done. So that was my lesson I learned and then I just needed to take a breath and know that it's okay. I can squeeze it in another time. I think that's part of it, right? I think there's an yeah. outline of what we would like to get accomplished versus yeah. reality. And uh, we just kind of have to be there for each other and say, hey, you know, if this is a start, not a start yeah. and a finish in mania. Which I understood that about all my cross stitch stuff. I'm like, yeah, these are all starts so that I have a good jump on the rest of the year. But in my quilting, I was like, no, I, I am a quilter. Like, I know how long it's going to take me to do this stuff. I just didn't realize, like, I just, in my brain, I was like, yeah, I can get this I mean, done. that's a lot. So looking at that booklet yeah. and seeing it open and seeing and, yeah, it, you'll it's see very, in just a very, second, the very blocks. overwhelming just for me. And I, I'm in this studio with her while she's, you know, yeah. quilting most of the time. But I a lot of love pieces. this pattern, though. Oh, it's cool. I, oh, I love it. I had so much fun putting them yeah. together. Okay, so um, May 3rd was Country Cottage Needleworks Glitter House 1 from Glitter Village. Yep. And I am um, stitching that on, um, let me make sure what I'm stitching this on. You put um, it in there, right? Huh? You put it in there. Um, no? Oh, you know what? It's on my desk. Oops. Um, I am stitching this on Lamb's Wool from Woodshelt. And then um, it's a cool color. It's a yeah, soft tan. So I have like my snow done at the very top. Again, not huge progress, but that's okay. I got to stitch for a couple, I think maybe an hour that day. So I did that. And I think I'm using all the called for DMC colors. I don't think you deviated from the colors I on this. Do not de I don't deviate well. Um, and I really only use DMC. I say that and then I'm going to show you something different later. <laughs> so that was uh, May 3rd. May 4th, may the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. I'm a boy mom. Yes. I know not what that means, but she does. I just know that yesterday was Star Wars Day in my house. Yeah. Um, so day four. And today is Revenge of the Fifth. Revenge of the Fifth. I did remember that. Yes. Um, so day four was assembling three Norm and three Nanette blocks. Guys, you cannot even believe how cute these are. Look at that. So there's one Norm. Do you name them? No, they're all Norm. There's another Norm. You guys like need to jump in the description box right now and go buy this kit. It and what does it not cutest. have? Kit. You said keep, you keep saying a kit, so what does it include? It includes all the fabric you need. Okay. Except for backing and binding, which comes as a separate kit if you if you want to go with the... The whole kit? The whole thing, yeah. The whole thing? 
Um, so there are in all there are nine Norm and nine Nanette. So I've I've broken it up. Um, yesterday I did three of each, and tomorrow I'll do two more of each. Look at Nanette! Oh, I like the hair piece. Isn't the, the hair, hair part? So I got cool. it. I was looking at the first one. I I'm just like, like cannot even with this is my favorite Nanette so far. That's cool, guys. I love the I like the part in the hair. I, yes. Very so, but you see what I'm talking about is there's like so many pieces. Yeah. So, but that's okay. I got caught up. I'm, I'm ready to go into tomorrow. Out. I have all my pieces cut. Everything is laid out very meticulously. I see it over and there. And I can rock it now to finish, finish strong. So that was, um, my whips. I want to do finishes before I talk about my next week plan. Okay. So I have a finish and, um, I have little kids. And little kids like to touch things. And I told y'all that my six-year-old is fascinated with watching me cross-stitch. And I finished Quilter's Cottage this week, which I'm very excited about. I threw it in a frame. It is not the frame. It, it is not It's a temporary I'm, frame. It is. I just don't want grimy hands all over it. So I threw it in a cheap Ikea frame just so that it doesn't. But look how good it looks, guys. I changed the house. It's navy instead of the chestnut DMC color that it called for. And my window seals and door are yellow because of the hive. So very I, proud of you. That's and awesome. just I love it. I love how this turned out. And like I said, this is like not staying in this frame. I just don't want grimy hands all over it and I don't want to fold it up again. Boy hands. So boy hands be gone. So I got that time. finished yep. done. I told y'all last vlog tube, I wanted that done before Mania started. And I you got it done really before Mania started. Yep. Yes. Okay, so what are my plans for this week? Um, let's see. Today is Snowflake Serenade. So I'm doing that with Country Cottage Needleworks. And I am doing that on... Lambskin wool. Huh? Oh, you know what? Here it is. That's funny. I put it in the wrong bag. Yeah. Um, this is on lamb's wool from Wachelt. Lamb's wool, sorry. Yep, Not so it's that same color. Like and then I'm hand. doing all the called for... DMC. Yep, all the called for DMC colors. Mm -hmm. So I will be working on that this week, or um, this week, tonight, after right. we finish filming. So that will be that guy. Then tomorrow, I like I said, I have two more Norm blocks and two more Nanette blocks to make. Then the day after, I start on Jardin Preve. Ooh. I know, right? I consulted a French major. Thank yes. You. I forgot that one of our son's therapists um, majored in French. And so I texted her and I was like, can you please tell me how to pronounce this? And of course, she sent me back a sound bit that was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I'm never going to be able to say it that way. So Jardin Preve. Got it. Awesome. Thank I you. don't know the other one. I wasn't going to try to pronounce that. Is, but it, a, is it kind of like a gnome fiesta that you yeah, have going so on? Yeah, so it's gnomes. Ways? It's gnomes. And I get to start that this week. And Which I'm is super pumped about the, it. You're not a gnome person until now. Yeah. Um, it's just springtime. Yeah, and it's like the time that you do that. Okay. Yeah. And this is going on um, vintage, vintage Country Mocha. So this is the side that it is plain. This is the one that she was trying to convince me on. And on this not is the doing side the that looks like it's hand dyed. Right. So, yes, and this is the one I tried to convince him that he could do instead of chalkboard with Merry Christmas. Which right is here. cool, but yeah. I like the chalkboard. Yeah. So, that is that day. Mm -hmm. Then the next day, I have two Norm and two Nanette blocks. And I think that will, let's see. Awesome. Let's see, three Norm. Mm -hmm. Oh, tomorrow, I'm sorry. I've got three Norm and three Nanette blocks tomorrow. Then I'm doing the gnomes. Then I've got two Norm and two Nanette blocks. Then I'm doing May Cottage from Country yep. Cottage Needleworks. I'm working on that one. And that is on Woodshelt Graceful Gray. So I've got everything here in my project bag. It's like a light gray. Yep. Or and so a tip of the hat. Yep. Oh yeah, it's a tip of the hat gray. <laughs> um, and so that is next is May Cottage. Yep. And then I've got the last two Norm and the last two Nanette, and then um, I can assemble the top if I uh, have time in the, during the day to do that. And then um, lastly, so for next Saturday, I will start Gingerbread Street. 
So that is the 11. So is this the pattern that you can do all together or yes. split it up? So what are you going to do on this one? I have not decided and I have a week left to decide. I was okay. just thinking that today. Okay. I don't know the answer to that. I was going to make them into um, ornaments, but I think they're going to be huge. And I want them to go in the kitchen. And they could go on the kitchen Christmas tree, but I don't know. We'll and I'm just doing that on white. And it's um, Woodshell White 14 yep. Count Ada. Everything we use is 14 count Ada or Ada in general. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's my plan for the coming week. Excited. Very excited. Very excited. Very excited. Um, next week, we will be coming to you from my grandfather's house. I'm really, really excited. Uh, we leave on Mother's Day and we'll be there until Wednesday. So, we'll film at his house and he'll think that's like the coolest thing in the world. Um, and so give us a little bit of grace on Monday. The internet situation there is rough because he lives out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll probably take a while to upload. But know that a video, a floss tube, will come from us, kind of giving you an update. So uh, let's talk about haul. I, this week, was able, well, not able, I mean, I did order um, the sew along or stitch along with Priscilla and Chelsea, and I'm so pumped about it. It is Country Cottage Needleworks land that I love. And so here is the pattern. And then I got, uh, they put together a Priscilla Blaine um, Classic Colorworks package. And so a uh, thread pack. And so I got the thread pack. And then I chose the Graceful Gray Witch Elt for it to go on. And I'm so pumped. Now all I need is a Stitching with the Housewives shirt. <laughs> I gotta order that. So, um, I was, I can't, I need that shirt because it's so cute. But um, anyway, so I'm excited to get that. So that was part of my haul. So the other part of the haul that I want to talk about is um, like very, it, I've already talked about it in a haul before, um, but I want to reemphasize how amazing these two products are. This has honestly made my mania and he makes fun of me so much, but the I lights. laugh because she keeps telling me I need one. Guys, these lights that go on your glasses and then you turn them and like they, you turn them on. I won't do it right now because it'll blind the camera. And then you can see exactly where you're stitching. Like on that stitching time that I'm doing chalkboard Ada, this has like made my mania. I love them so much and yeah, he makes fun of me, but it's totally fine. I love them. The other thing that I figured out I cannot live without during Mania or any quilting, this stand. We talked about this in my haul last week, but this is the magnetic Lori Holt stand from BMI Bonnet, and it's got the little easel frame here. I have been using this like every day. I've been using it like crazy. My quilt patterns, like Norman and Annette, the block stands on there, or if I'm stitching, I take yep. it into the living room, and my pattern sits on it, and it's perfect. It's magnetic, so I just got these little magnet, like they look like push pins from the dollar store, and it's absolutely perfect. I love it. So we'll put the links in the description. It is 100% worth it. The lights, 100% worth it. Right. So, okay, so let's do mail call. Which is probably one of my favorite parts yeah. of this whole floss tube. It's so fun. So um, we like never, ever, ever expect anybody to send us no. anything. No. The only call out that we've put out for mail is Band-Aid quilts, which if you have not seen that tutorial on our channel, Tech Guy will link it down below or somewhere up here. And um, that is essentially um, a quilt pattern that was put out that looks like band-aids yep. and um so that um and we were allowed to do so we yeah so we put out a tutorial from and we had permission from the pattern designer to give you measurements yep. and everything to make one band-aid and we just said like if you have time in your spare time that you want to make a band-aid and send it to me or a whole quilt and send it to me that would be great we will happily donate that to our son's children's hospital and so that's the only time we've ever put out mail. Yeah. But we have been so surprised and we've gotten such cute little gifts and things like that. And we never, ever intended for that. And so we appreciate it so yeah. very much. Very I humbling. can't read cards or I cry. <laughs> and so um, I won't ever read your card on camera because I will start crying. But it doesn't mean that we're not reading it. Right. So. Um, but we got a very sweet card. Um, address to Kia B and Tech Guy, which I thought was adorable. And it's um, from Carlene Hall. 
she said that she won something on Priscilla and Chelsea's um, one of their giveaways and she really just wanted the pattern and so she sent us the rest of that giveaway which was so sweet so and it's because last floss tube she heard me say that I love the floss flowers and the beekeeper and that I wanted to get some and so she sent me those thank you very much so this is the um, Lori Holt floss flowers for the for your thread and this is the beekeeper so the thread hangs off and then she also sent me a um, vintage cloth from Lori Holt and Zweigart. Cool. So this is burlap and it's 10 count. And so thank you so much, Carlene. Yeah. That was so sweet of you. And your card was very, very sweet. We had a I box of tissues that. handy. So. Yes, all the time. Um, and then our next and last package is from Deidre. And Deidre has sent us a package before. She yep. sent us separate band-aids. And um, she is just so sweet. She's, She's from Longview. Sweet. And um, she sent us two completed quilts um, for wow. band-aids. But she and said that in the last card that she These are on. huge. Oh, and it's got the cutest. Okay, so this one, I'll hold up half of it, is uh, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Band-aids. And kind of um, Disney, and it's band-aids. Dr. Seuss is in there, too. Look at that. Oh, Snoopy's on this side. Cool. So it's Disney. Very kid-friendly. This is adorable. Yep. Guys, this is great. Some family is going to be so incredibly blessed by this yep. um at the hospital y'all just have no i mean you might have a clue but um i like the free the free hand yes uh, the quilting. the the quilting on this yeah. is beautiful absolutely um and so she sent us that one and then she sent us a second one and this one has embroidered hearts on it as well uh the other one did too oh did it yeah, i'm sorry yeah, the other one did too it. So there is the second one, and it's yeah. got all these cute, scrappy band-aids. You guys, this is so sweet. And some family at the hospital is seriously going to be so blessed and so comforted right. that someone thought to make something like this for them. And just Paint it forward. thank you so much, really. Yeah, thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, we've been in that situation. And um, just thank you so very, very much. Look at the back of this one. Oh, how cool the is that? The farm animals. Love it. Absolutely adorable. Very Absolutely adorable. Kid centric. So, um, yes, so that is a full quilt. Um, we donate single band aids as well because those can go to NICU families. NICU babies are not allowed to have blankets. That's where we were, and we were not allowed to have blankets, but we were allowed to have like little, you know, decorations and stuff. And so those serve really well as things like that. And so um, we donate any any size of anything. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah. So that it's was near and dear to our sweet. hearts. Yes, that was so incredibly sweet. So thank you all so much. We really appreciate it. Okay, and the thing that I'm sure y'all have been waiting for is our giveaway. So last week we had a giveaway because Fat Quarter Shop sent us some cross stitch journals that they had just um, shipped out. Mm -hmm. And these, uh, there's enough room in here for 50 projects. And so, and then um, to keep your thread inventory as well. And these are so amazing. And then some They're note pages. Cool. Or a note page. And so I think this is so amazing. So I said we were going to give away one. And then I think towards the end of the video, I actually but decided yeah. we were going to give away two. Absolutely. So I am so excited to announce, and I have not left your comment, responded to your comment yet on the previous video but l lane who said that she is not officially doing mania but she would really be interested in the journal so she is getting one and then helen Le lenhart i hope i sa i'm saying that right yep. um uh you had talked about how you work in a um hoop and that you were interested kind of in seeing the q snap um the q snap is really really interesting i really like it it's basically pvc pipe that elbows together and um tech guy's gonna take yeah i'm gonna off take of mine piece now off my frosted forest. so you can see it so um you, both of you ladies are gonna get this wonderful cross stitch journal so what i need you to do our email all of our um, email information is in the description box i need you to go personally send me an email with your mailing address so that we can get these out to you later this week all right so so this is the frame of a q snap and it does not come in like this so i had to snap it together yeah so it and they fold up completely oh yeah so yeah. you so can um, put it in your bag yeah and, and, and things I like that it apart the wrong way it's all right okay so it all comes up like each side comes off yep um so you can definitely throw in a project bag 
And then this is the 11 by 11 size. Yep. And you put your cloth on there and these snap over your cloth. Right. And that's what holds your tension on your cloth and everything. So, um, and they come in all different sizes. Six by six, eight by eight, 11 yeah, by awesome. 11, 11 by 14 and 11 by 17 maybe. And then they have extension kits as well that make them different sizes. I could totally be wrong on the sizes. Yep. But, um, so this is a Q-snap. So it's essentially like a hoop frame, but um, you're, you're going over top instead of inside, if that makes any sense. Yeah, and I've used this on, <laughs> ironically enough, the one off of uh, Frosty Forest. Um, I was getting some overlap, so I've used this to kind of mm -hmm. uh, stretch it out. The and that fabric. really helps too, so don't get frustrated when it's not going right or yeah. it's uh, like, uh, was, yeah, yeah, just not tight. And because so. this is PVC pipe, I think it's an inch, um, an inch and a quarter PVC pipe maybe. Mm -hmm. I can, so I actually can't bend this index finger. So I can hold on to this and my finger rests here so easily when my fabric's in here so I can actually stitch. And um, because this is the arthritic hand, like this is much better yep. for me. So, I mean, it's definitely worth a try. Yes, it for is. For sure. So, um, okay, since we did a cross-stitch giveaway last week, let's do a quilting giveaway this week. Ooh. Doesn't that sound fun? Love it's it. kind of fun since I'm doing both projects. I thought it would be really fun to, like, give away something to the quilting crowd. Uh, yeah. So, I went in my little giveaway bin, and I pulled out three pretty essential, um, fun quilting things. So the very first thing is the um, So Hot Iron Rest, and this is a silicone mat. It's a heat safe mat, and this is from Fat Quarter Shop. They sent me one a few months ago. I've been using it, um, and then we got also got one in our sew sampler box a few months later, yep. and it's amazing. And I think it says sew while the iron's hot. So we've yes. got that, we've got a little bundle. We have a little mini wool ironing mat. And then we've got a fat quarter bundle. Boom. And so this is Robert Kaufman and this is Palm Canyon um, from Violet Craft. And so um, we want to send you one winner who's going to win all three of these. It's a bundle. Things. A little bundle. It's a little Kia B bundle. and Tech Guy bundle. Yes. So. What's the requirements? Comment down below. Don't say giveaway. Y'all do listen to us say that. <laughs> Don't say giveaway. We want this to go to people who watch our videos because they like the content of our videos, not because we're giving something away. Yeah. And there are people out there who search YouTube just for giveaways. So don't say giveaway, don't say free or anything like that. Um, don't you do it. Yeah, I want to, what, I don't, what should we hear from them? What's your favorite project that we're working on thus far? Oh, that we are working on? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, maybe send a link on what you're working on. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, don't send links in YouTube comments because oh, it will flag you for like spam. spam. That's right. I, yeah, so don't send a link. What was that but I want to know, yeah, that's a good idea. So what is your favorite um, project that we are working on? Yep. Either one of us, quilting or cross-stitch um, for Mania. And then um, what did you say? Because they answered already what they're working on for oh, Mania. Yeah. I think that's it then. Okay, so what's your favorite project that we're working on? And then at the end of that comment, so that I know you want to be entered in the giveaway, um, just say like quilting bundle. Let's say that. So it's list your favorite name. project that we're working on and say quilting bundle. That way I know you want to be entered into that giveaway. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. That was a long one. It is. Thank you all so much for joining us in the hive today. We are loving this kind of laid back conversation like environment. Yeah. Um, it's a different format for me. It is a completely different format than our normal tutorials yeah. or unboxings. So thank you so much for joining us in the hive today. We've had so much fun doing this. I can't wait to get another week under our belt with Mania. And so um, thank you all so much. We hope that you have a great week and that you're having so much fun with Mania. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Don't stress yourself out. For Do it. not stress yourself out. Like if you Don't are not starting out. 31 projects. That's fine. Mania doesn't have any rules. Do what you want to do. Yep. Yes. So, all right. Thanks so much for joining us on the high today. Y'all have a great week.